Hi everyone. Welcome to this session. This session is directed at the issue of anxiety and looking to relax and release stress and tension from the body and mind. You should find it relaxing. If you are not feeling relaxed during this session, just check whether you are pushing too much in the practices, the poses, the stretches, even the breathing. Try as best you can to be gentle, careful, don't go too far, back off, and always take a break if you need it. The thing to be watching here is that your breathing the whole time is very soft and steady and easy and light. If you find that you're struggling with your breathing, then the practice has become too intense, too strong. In that case, back off or take a little break. Okay. Let's start with a good breath. Through the mouth, have a big breath in and hold it for three seconds and then we're going to release with a nice deep sigh and close your eyes focus around your chest area your lungs focus on the feeling now of how you are breathing What can we notice here? Does your breath feel fast? Or slow? Can you slow it down? Does your breath feel tight? and small. Or does it feel open and relaxed, easy? Keep trying to relax into and around the breath and around the chest area and also try to relax your stomach as you breathe. Okay. Now, again, through the mouth, have a big breath in Hold it for three seconds, relax, and then a nice deep sigh. So, it's natural for the mind to have anxiety. Um, the mind is worrying, it's pretty much its job. So, we're all going to be anxious and worried at times, stressed and under pressure. What we do is use the tools of yoga breath work, stretching and meditation to relax and release tension and this is the therapy for anxiety, a natural therapy and it's, it's quite logical and should be guaranteed to work because of the nature of what we're doing. We are locating tension and releasing it. Your mental tensions, emotional and psychological, instantly go into your breathing, they tighten around the breath and you tighten around the body, your stomach for example, jaw, hands, neck. So we're going to release all of that. And so you should leave this session feeling calmer, more composed, breathing better, just more relaxed in general. Hopefully that works for you. Okay. So let's start with one of the really great ways to pacify 
anxiety and stress. Lie down. If you have a mat, lie down on the floor. The feet are hip width. Take the hands behind the head like you're sleeping. Every pose, just do it in a relaxed way. And then start to roll the knees slowly side to side. Nice and slow. Don't push towards the sides. Just ease in to the stretching where you are listening to your body. You're checking. Am I tired in the groin, hips, or lower back? If so, do this very gently and don't go too far. Have another nice breath while you're doing this. We're starting to get a nice rhythm now with this movement. A sense of flow. Now if at any point you feel like stopping, as I am now, you can just stop to one side. If you need a rest or you just want to just feel into the stretch for a while, it's up to you. But otherwise, just keep going slowly side to side. So what we're doing here is massaging. That's why we have this movement. We're going slowly and gently in a relaxed way just rolling the muscles. It's a very safe stretch, very mild and ideal for stress, tension and anxiety. It's really good for your lower back and really good for the digestion. And the digestion is where a lot of our anxieties get stored butterflies in the stomach, diarrhea. These are classic links to anxiety and stress. So we're just massaging the muscles, the organs, loosening, soothing. Have another nice deep exhalation. That sigh is ideal for stress and anxiety. So you can use it during the day. If you've just had an intense drama, perhaps an argument or conflict or problem, just stop and have a sigh. Okay, next time you get to the right side, hold it and turn your head towards the left. Don't go too far. Relax down into gravity. Just let the pose drop down towards the floor. Close your eyes if you like, or have them open. However, 
whatever you feel right now, know that we are constantly changing. Whatever you feel right now, just accept it. Don't try to run away from it or push it away. Allow it. And then see if you can open it. Relax around it. Release any tensions related to it. Okay, bring the head back and the knees back to middle and then take the knees to the left side and the head turns right. Now if your shoulders are getting sore or you're losing blood flow to your fingers, just release the arms. You can have them out to the sides, by the side. If you keep them up it's probably better but don't worry, doesn't matter. Today, doesn't matter. If you can, keep the arms back. Every time you set up a pose, relax deeply into it, have a sigh. Taking the time to relax, slow down, be quiet, be aware of your body and how it's breathing. Not doing all those other things, not caught up in all those activities and dramas, we have stepped aside, we're taking some private, quiet time to settle and compose. Okay, come back to middle, lie straight, legs straight, arms straight. This is important to lie flat and straight after a pose like that. This is how you can solve any lower back problems. But if your lower back is really painful, a lot of people want to bring their knees up here. Try not to, that will never fix the problem, in fact it will keep the problem, but look, if you're really in pain, just do what you got to do. If you can, try to lie straight and flat and relax into this pose. Become restful. Again, have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Okay, let's do something really nice now. This is so relaxing, so calming, such a beautiful practice. The hands come up onto the tummy, over the belly, stomach, belly button, lower abdominals. It's up to you. Just see how, how it feels, whether it feels good or not. 
and start to breathe through your nose slowly in all the way to full and feel the tummy going up the hands going upwards and then slowly out all the way to empty all breathing through the nose all the way down to empty your tummy drawing inwards and your hands going lower and then breathing in again slowly so the tummy is rising and falling with the breath and you'll feel that your hands are moving with that flow start to have a nice slow gentle rhythm this is a beautiful relaxing therapeutic practice let's do this for a couple minutes and just take the time to breathe excellently slowly and deeply in a relaxed way this is a deeper relaxation practice and take the time to think you will anyway, your mind will just start thinking stuff. Let it think, because you need to think through your issues and dramas and worries and concerns. So we're taking the time to do that. While we add this excellent tool, this very pacifying breath practice. Through the nose if you can, but if you can't, just do it through the mouth. last round when you then breathe in afterwards have a nice deep sigh and release the arms settle into a resting pose and again have a deep sigh <sighs> notice if your breath is becoming more open easier okay so what we've done so far is pacify we've done soothing practices in a slow, calm and gentle way, quietening and breathing, opening up the breathing in a gentle way. But now, I'm going to put you under pressure, physical pressure, 
There won't be too much pressure. And we're going to try to relax into this pressure and relax deeply into it. Breathe. Breathe into this pose. Sustain the pose whilst under pressure. And then we will feel a fantastic release of tension when we release the pose. It won't be too long. Don't worry, it won't be too bad. So, this is called the dead cow. This is not a technical name. Bring the legs up and the arms. Okay, so try to have the legs straight, but don't worry. The feet are standing on the ceiling if you can. The fingertips extend straight up, but keep the shoulders down. Now, have a big breath. You can feel the pressure. It's very much around the abdominal area. The digestive organs are being compressed. That's what we want. This is why you're going to feel a release and feel better afterwards. Maybe your thighs are struggling. Maybe your legs are shaking. Maybe your arms. Doesn't matter. <sighs> really use your breathing here. Really exaggerate your effort to sigh deeply and often. <sighs> Try to relax as much as you can, even though you may not be feeling relaxed. We are going into pressure. We are managing it. We are sustaining it and trying to release from deep within. Any type of breathing that you can use to help you, just try it. Doesn't matter. But do not try to be conservative here in your breathing, or constrained, or contained. No. Open up, get in deep, and release. <sighs> Take a break if you need it. Half a minute more if you can. My legs are shaking, that's okay. Try to relax your stomach, your lower back, your groin, whatever is struggling, just try to relax it. This is a really good distraction from your stresses of your life. Good. Have a smile, laugh, who cares? <laughs> okay. Have a big breath in. And gently bend the knees, coming down, arms coming down, lie flat. <sighs> Feel the release of pressure, stress and tension. Right now is why we did that. It's a Raja Yoga practice there. Noticing the difference between different types of energies. Action, drama, stress, tension, pressure. Sustained pressure. Effort. Struggle. Trying to relax into that pressure. Breathing. And then feeling the release. opening, the space that opens up, 
after the release of tension and stress. You can become, you can become skillful at this and get a deeper release. Especially if you can breathe well. Okay, so let's try a similar practice in a different way. And this is going to release a lot of the tension and stress from your body. So sit up. Um, all the stresses and tensions of our mind go into the body and are stored in the muscles. And so that's what we're doing, we're releasing that. And that's why you will feel more relaxed afterwards. Okay, we've done this before in one of the videos. The mountain into the full moon. So, this is the full moon. That's your resting pose if you need to take a break. This is the mountain, I'll just show you that one. <sighs> okay, so, just prepare yourself. Again, we're going to put you under pressure. Let's prepare ourselves first just by backing off, but press your fingers down. Arms straight, you're not on the floor. We want to feel a stretch in your shoulders and back and arms and just get a sense of, okay, these are the muscles I'm going to be working. Alright, so, let's say we'll do this for one minute, okay, that's not the end of the earth, that's not terribly long. Most of you will be able to manage this, but instead of focusing on being perfect in your stretch, focus on relaxing as deeply as you can into the pressures. Whatever pressures you feel, whatever tensions you notice in your body, and use your breath. Okay, so five-pointed star. The hands are shoulder width. The feet are hip width and straight if you can. The knees are straight if you can. The hips go back away from the hands, but they also go upwards, away from the feet. The elbows are straight if you can. Now, are you breathing already? <sighs> this is a great pose for pressure. All body comprehensive pressure. Try to relax completely into the pressure and release with your breath. <sighs> Breathing through the mouth is the most effective way to release stress and tension from the body. Ten seconds. Breathe in before you move and breathe out as you gently come down with the knees, feet flat, sitting back on the heels if you can, relax your arms and head down if you can. If you can't get the head down, you can do fist, fist, Forward. That might help you so you can rest your neck. However you like, relax. In this pose, rest your arms. Don't do any work with your arms. If your feet or ankles are, or knees are really painful, just compromise. You can take the knees wide, take the knees apart, 
the frog pose and that might make it easier for you. Feel that shift from tension, drama and pressure and intensity to the spaciousness of release, of relaxation and calm and restfulness. Feel your heart rate changing, slowing. Notice how the heart rate goes up and your breathing becomes faster and tighter when you're under pressure. And then when you back away from the pressure, the heart rate settles, the temperature drops, the breathing stabilizes. Have a deep sigh. <sighs> Slowly lift the forehead up, nose, chin, invert your spine, chest, belly. <sighs> Close your eyes. Do you feel more relaxed now, more calm? If I'm anxious, I'm not relaxed. If I'm stressed, I'm anxious. So, the opposite of that is, just be relaxed, just be relaxed. Just find a way to relax and release tension. Psychological, physical, emotional tension. And we'll start to change because the feeling is different. That's the key. It's a physical feeling as much as a mental feeling. All right. Now, if you're still comfortable in this pose, I'm going to come this way. We'll do one more pose. Now, you can sit cross-legged if you find this painful for your knees or ankles. Okay, there's always tension across the chest, but there's a lot of tension in the arms and shoulders, and this affects also our neck. So, this is a really good pose for release. Take the arms back behind you, and the fingers the fingers intertwined, interlocked, and then take the wrists away, away from your hips, up and away. And then the head is just looking at eye level, eye level looking at the wall at eye level, so your neck is pretty much vertical. Keep the arms back, opening your chest and shoulders. Now hold this pose at a constant. Extend the wrists away from the elbows and shoulders. There's so much tension in our arms. And the psychosomatic link here is, is that every time we obsess with doing, 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 controlling, we cannot let go, we're locking on, trying to force things our way, we're going to be tightening through the arms, shoulders, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands and fingers. And if we do that, obsessively as our psychology for years, we'll definitely develop things like rheumatoid arthritis in the wrists and hands and fingers. So, what we are doing right now is we are pressuring these muscles. And now, breathe in before you move, breathe out as you slowly release. Simple pose, hands on the thighs if you can, or knees. Just feel the release in your shoulders, chest, wrists, and fingers.
part of your mind that thinks, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to, got to go here, I've got to get this done, I've got to make this, blah, 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 blah. That's the psychosomatic of doing, 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 which will be transferred into the arm area as physical tension. Just let go. Let go of control right now. Accept the present. Then we can make action and choice once we accept what is. Resisting what is is an anxious method, not necessarily healthy, not necessarily helpful. Have a sigh. Okay. I don't want this session to go too long. So, if you have a blanket, grab it, sit comfortably, however you like. We're coming towards an end. Sit up straight if you can. But don't worry. If you want to lie down now, that's fine too, especially if you feel tired. Close your eyes. Just be still and quiet. Focus on your breathing, just a gentle resting breath. If you can now breathe only through the nose, if you can now see if you can breathe more deeply, slowly in towards full, slowly out towards empty, in a gentle way with absolutely no pushing, no straining, no rushing. This is total calmness in the breath. Relaxing deeply into this feeling of calmness, slowness, a sense of quiet, inner quiet. Hopefully for you, a sense of calm. The breath is so soft and delicate, like a silk thread that you are gently drawing through the nostrils, slowly in and so slowly out. The 
key here is to become the feeling that is there in the breath. So the action of your breath must describe the feeling. If the way you are breathing is open, easy, calm and steady and soft, then you have the mental feeling. This is very delicate. When the mind is anxious, the breath is tight, fast, and hard, and heavy. When the breath is light, soft, and slow, and gentle, and easy, and steady, the mind is relaxed. We all have access to this feeling, you just need to find it and practice it, practice being like this, recognize this feeling, this way of being, this way of feeling If you come to this place often, you will become a more relaxed person. That's a simple, guaranteed fact. If you practice being relaxed and feeling relaxed, you will become a more relaxed human being. If you practice being fast, stressed, pushy, worried, angry, you will develop these habits to become stronger and stronger and to take over your life at great cost. We do need to make choices about things like anxiety, our way of being, There are levels of anxiety, levels and levels. Try to minimize the most intense levels of anxiety first. And to go deeper into that takes years of practice, many, many years, by degrees, slowly unlocking it and releasing it. Do not expect this to be a quick fix. This takes a lot of work, a lot of time. Just start where you are, accept where you are, and then choose health. Relax the breathing. Through your mouth, have a big breath in, and a deep sigh. That breath should be pretty good, I hope for you. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this session was helpful for you. Um, if you feel like there's a couple more minutes on this video with gentle music in the background, if you feel like it, lie down, take a full break, or even go longer. You may be tired. Okay, thank you. All the best.